What's up, fellas? If you're new around here, welcome. I'm Baron. this is Effortless Gent, and today we're gonna give you a few work from home outfit ideas. Most, if not all of us who have the ability to work from home are now being forced to. And once you are finally sick of lounging in your sweatpants or your pajama pants all day, you're gonna wanna get dressed like it's a regular day and you're going to work doing your regular routine. You know, normalcy. Except now you're working from your home office or your kitchen table or maybe even your sofa. So how exactly are you supposed to dress when you are working from home? I asked a few of my friends who also run men's style YouTube channels to chime in with a few work from home outfit ideas of their own. So that way you can see a few different looks which will hopefully give you plenty of ideas. I'll let these guys take it away. Hey, my name is Brock Barron. Thanks for having me on Effortless Gent. When I'm working from home, I definitely prioritize comfort over fashion, but I wanna look good enough that I can jump on a video call or run a quick errand without getting changed. So I want my pants to be comfortable and have a little bit of stretch built in, but I'm not gonna wear baggy sweatpants all day. In my opinion, I think performance chinos or tech chinos strike that perfect balance. And my favorite pair right now is from Banana Republic. It's the Core Temp Pant. They're nice and tapered, nice and slim, but because they have the four-way stretch built in, they're still very comfortable and also very low maintenance. I can wear them for a long time without having to wash them. For tops, I usually go with long sleeve knits like this long sleeve t-shirt from Son of a Tailor. It's made to measure so it fits really nicely. I'll also wear like wool sweaters during the winter and then during the summer, just t-shirts or polos instead. I don't wear shoes inside, so I'm usually in socks for most of the day. Uh, in the winter time, I'll wear wool socks from Smart Wool. Uh, and then for the rest of the year, I just like cotton over the calf socks like these ones from Tabio. They're very high quality and very comfortable. I usually put on a couple of accessories when I'm working from home just to make the outfit feel complete. Say I'm wearing the ultra lightweight F84W and then I just have this silver cuff on this hand and that's it. Baron, thanks again for including me in this roundup and until next time, stay stylish. Thanks, Baron. I'm Andrew from Primer, and for the last 12 years, we've helped guys learn to dress better without spending a ton of money on designer brands. And I've been working from home for the last nine years. So every outfit for me is a work from home outfit. And one important thing I learned early on was the importance of still getting dressed and wearing regular clothes. I'm noticeably more productive, and when you've worked from home for so long, it helps me feel a little bit more like I'm a part of humanity. But that doesn't mean that regular clothes are uncomfortable. My go-to is a Henley shawl collar cardigan and stretched twill pants. An outfit like this isn't any less comfortable than pajamas, but I don't feel the guilt of having not gotten ready for the day. This shawl collar is from Gap. It's got a chunky but not decorative knit, so it still has a rugged vibe. I nabbed this one last fall when it was featured in one of our best style deals roundups. The Slim Fit Henley is an oatmeal colored raglan sleeve option from the Amazon house brand Amazon Essentials. At $12 with a four and a half star rating and a size range from extra small to XXL, it's a cheap, smart go-to. These are the moss colored 365 pant from Flint and Tender. And they're some of my absolute favorites because of how comfortable they are. Cut like slim tapered jeans, but with 2% spandex for stretch, they're easily my first grab when I don't feel like thinking about it. If you like this style, you might like what else we're doing over at Primer. Come say hi, primermagazine.com or at Primer Magazine on Instagram. Thanks again, Baron, for including me. Hey there, my dudes. I'm Demetrius from Demetrius Levi. We talk style tips, philosophy of style, lifestyle, a sprig of memes. Now, my work clothes are almost exactly the same as my weekend clothes, but that's not intentional. They just really happen to harmonize. I'd categorize my style as sartorial, rakish, and Italian. Now, for me, full suits every day for work, working at home is a little bit too much for me. So sport coats will do. You're still wearing your armor. You still feel like you're in command and confident like when dressing in a suit, but it's far more comfortable and almost vacation and lounge like depending on how you style it. And that's why I love it. Dress to de-stress. There's a new quote for you. Giddy up. My sport coats are taliatory and I got them from Ukes. They're super comfortable and deconstructed or unstructured so I can dress them up or down. 
This is also something to keep in mind, especially if you wear a jacket. If your elbows are always on like a hard surface, the elbows are gonna wear out the quickest. So really keep that in mind if you decide to wear a jacket. For me, it's all about finding the right balance between comfort, keeping that working mindset, and good vibes. Baron, my homie, thank you so much for having me on. I am honored. Papa bless. All right, my dudes, stay safe, stay crispy. Mm. What's up, guys? I'm Koi from Gentleman Within, and I want to thank Baron for inviting me to be a part of this work from home outfits video. For me, if I'm just lounging around without the need to get any work done, then I'm definitely wearing sweats. But I like to be productive and get stuff done, and so instead of sweats, I'll be wearing something like this. It's casual, comfortable, yet still stylish, and not too comfortable to the point where I feel lazy. Up top, I'm wearing a lightweight cotton Henley, and down low, I've got a pair of performance chinos with incredible stretch that are just as comfortable as sweatpants. And I've got some slides on my feet for some extra comfort throughout the day. Alternatively, if you want to add a layer, you can throw on an overshirt like this lightweight chore jacket. I also swapped out the chinos for a pair of relaxed stretch selvage denim stretch being key here comfort without sacrificing style now that's a win-win a few final words of advice on working from home definitely get dressed style your hair make your bed in the morning you know there's a psychological reason behind all of this you know if you're in pjs all day then it's definitely going to be a lot harder to get things done and be productive all right that's all i got i want to thank baron again for inviting me to be a part of this video stay safe stay healthy and stylish gents peace Hey gents, my name is John. I run the YouTube channel The Cavalier about the best menswear on the internet and I realized very early on in my work from home career that dressing for success is absolutely true. So there are many days where I dress up in a button down shirt, chinos or jeans, but the outfit that I wanna highlight today is what I would call my everyday maximum productivity coziness outfit and that consists of a fitted t-shirt, cashmere joggers, comfortable socks and a pair of Allbirds loungers. The t-shirts I tend to gravitate to the most are wool t-shirts because of their natural antimicrobial properties and they're very comfortable and warm. This one is from Oliver's. And then the cashmere joggers, if you've never had a pair of cashmere sweatpants or joggers, these ones are only at $100 from Distilled. I've seen them from Nottam and a few other companies as well. But I love that these are fitted while also being extremely comfortable and luxurious. Then I top off that comfort with some silver socks from American Trench and then the Allbirds wool loungers because I do end up at a standing desk most of the day. And so I find that the, the loungers are a nice complement to the socks. So even in my comfortable clothes, I find that fit is king. Materials make a huge difference and if you are gonna be spending a lot of your time in this work from home mode, it's worth getting nice stuff to enjoy as well as if you were going out to an office. There's a quick look at my work from home outfit. Thank you, Baron, for having me on the channel. Hope you guys stay healthy and productive right now. So to me, a great work from home outfit is really all about that balance between comfort, style, and practicality. I want to look good, but I also realize that I'm working from home and I'm not actually going into an office, you know, with other people around. So I wanna be comfortable, sure, but I also wanna be dressed well enough in case I need to to hop on a video call or I need to head outside, maybe run some errands or grab something from the grocery store without having to take the extra step to change my clothes into something more appropriate. For me, that usually means at least a pair of dark denim or maybe some chinos and they have to have a little bit of stretch in them. I'm not usually a joggers guy unless I'm going to the gym, but if my jeans or my chinos have a little bit of stretch in them, that's usually enough comfort for me. Then I'd go with a t-shirt, usually something in some shade of gray. And then typically a third layer. I prefer a work shirt in a softer fabric like this olive green work shirt from J. Crew, made out of fleece, or maybe something Thing like a soft cotton twill chore coat. If it happens to be really chilly, I'll probably throw on a soft flannel shirt or I would stick with a t-shirt and then throw on something like this fleece zip from LL Bean. Finally, house slippers. You gotta have the house slippers, man. I prefer these all leather lace moccasins from Minnetonka. I don't like the fur or Sherpa lined versions. I feel like those get too warm for me. And also after a while, the fur gets all kind of gray and matted and gross. And then I'm not gonna wanna wear the slippers anymore. So I stick with an all leather version and I can wear this year round. Just don't forget if you are leaving the house to change out of your house slippers and wear real shoes. These are for the house only.
my Asian folks will understand. All right, fellas, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you got some good work from home outfit inspiration ideas. And of course, thanks again to my friends who helped me put this video together. Make sure to check out the description box below. I'm gonna link to all of their channels, plus any pieces that they were able to uh, link for me. I'm gonna put it all down there in the description. So scroll down and uh, check that out. Let us know in the comments which outfit you like the most. Until next time, stay safe out there and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.